Okay, so this is our new rescue dog, Jade. <laughs> She's clearing, cleaning her junk. So we just got her a few months ago, almost two months ago. She's four years old from Mexico. And what else can I say? So basically we got, we got her from a foster family who had her for two months as well. And she came from Mexico and apparently all we, the story we heard is that the adoption agency rescue company, I guess, um, asked the owners in Mexico because she was always tied up and said, can we have her we'll take better care of her? <laughs> and they said, sure. So apparently, and so the agency had her and then I guess brought her to Canada and then there was a family in Toronto who fostered her for two months, which was amazing family. So they had another dog and then we got her from the foster family. So it's been almost two months. So she's definitely a cutie, <laughs> lots of energy compared to our last dog, which was the Alaskan Malamute and he was a uh, 10. So he's a little bit quieter and slow pace. So she definitely has more energy. And uh, huskies are kind of like um, a runner. <laughs> she loves her belly being rubbed. So she can't, we do have to tie her up outside. We don't have a fully fenced yard. And um, that's what they do. Huskies just like to run and they won't come back. So she has gotten out twice. We do live in the country. So she, we, ha we have about three acres, more than three acres that she can run around. So we do have a long tie down, one in the backyard, which gives her like pretty much the reign of like, I don't know, half the yard kind of thing. Then we have another one in the front, so she always wants to go out. And she's never experienced winter, so this will be our first winter. And uh, she's very curious, loves looking at the bugs, although she tries to eat bees, which is not good. Yeah, so she loves eating, she loves chasing squirrels too, everywhere we go. So I don't know if they don't have squirrels in Mexico or she just maybe kind of had a sheltered life. We're not really sure. That's the thing with adopting a rescue. You don't really know, you don't fully know the story. So we've kind of had to take our time with her. She, it took her a while to kind of warm up to us, um, probably within the past few weeks. So it's been almost two months, like I said. So it did take a while for her to warm up to us, um, especially her tail. You know, dogs are happy when their tails are wagging and her tail wasn't really wagging too much the first month, unless we were taking her for a, oh, I can't say the word, but you know, <laughs> which every dog loves to do. So as I was saying, she, lo she loves her belly rubs. Lay back, I'll give you a belly rub. I'll rub your belly, lay back. She's such a cutie. She's super fluffy. So we're probably gonna get her groomed soon because she hasn't been to the groomer yet. Well, with us, I'm not sure if the foster family took her, but we're gonna take her soon just because she's laying outside a lot and on the uh, gravel driveway. So yeah, so what else can I say about her? She's very curious, like a typical puppy, even though she's not really a puppy anymore. She's four, we think she's four years old. Um. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I took a tick out of her the other day and I've never, my old dog, or the previous dog, did get a couple of ticks when we moved to the country. Or actually, no, we were still, were we living? I think we were living in uh, another town. So yeah, it was before this house. But anyways, the vet took the three ticks off the dog's face just because it was, he was in for something else, thyroid test or something. So this one, I noticed a tick on her the other day, right on her, on her face and I had never, seen a real tick even though like we've been in the country but we don't really go off the trails we stick on the trails so I have this little tick remover thing that I bought off Amazon like a couple years ago and so I did it and boom I was able to get the tick out intact and I sent the pictures to some tick website you can get kind of analyzed to see if it was like a Lyme disease or what type of uh, tick it is or anything and it was called a black legged tick which is uh, one of the ticks that does have Lyme disease. But they said the chances of it having Lyme disease are small. It, it, it um, doesn't only have that, you know what I mean? So it's, there's a chance, but I was able to get it out intact. So I didn't leave the head in because it depends how you twist it off. But anyways, maybe I'll do another video. If she ever gets another tick, I'll do a video how I remove it. Kind of interesting. But anyway, so I just want everyone to meet her. And I do have, uh, so the foster family was a very lovely couple um, with another previous, oh, they have a dog also, so she obviously had fun playing with the other dog. And uh, they did say that obviously having a husky is a little bit of work, but they thoroughly enjoyed being a foster family. Um, yeah, husky, so that's the thing with the northern breeds, they are different compared to a normal dog. For some reason, I don't know if it's the alpha male type dog sled type wolf, and them are, I don't know, it's something, but they do have, uh, they're a little bit more, 
not aggressive, more like hyper, not hyper, I don't know. They're like a little bit more work. <laughs> so when we filled out the adoption papers, that was the other thing. It's kind of new for us too. We've never adopted a dog. I've never had a dog growing up and my husband has had dogs, but he's always just, his family has always gotten the dogs kind of as uh, like their friends had a dog's baby and they just gave him the dog. Um, and then when my husband was old enough, like, you know, on his own kind of thing, then he actually purchased, he went through a breeder and purchased the Alaskan Malamute. So when I met my husband, the Malamute was her age, was four years old when I met that dog. So we had never gone through an adoption process. So this was our first time, but now that I'm vegan, I just did not want to support a breeder. So that was the big, that was very important to me. I just, even though I wanted like a Northern breed, I did want a Malamute again or a Husky but I refuse to go through a breeder. So just because it is, you know, it's, I'm not gonna get into it because that's kind of another video, but if you know, if you're basically, you're supporting using an animal for a purpose of breeding another animal against their wishes kind of, and you're uh, confining it for that purpose and then you're giving the babies away. Like it's just a, I don't know, I just didn't like the idea of it really. It's kind of like how cows are, you know, put in the rape, um, tray or not tray the uh, chair thing you know to be forcibly bred in the dairy industry right that's how we get the milk is from the cows always being pregnant anyways again that's another video so long story short i just did not want to support the breeding dog breeding industry i really wanted to adopt so we were lucky enough when we saw this dog we just um it was the first dog that we uh <laughs> the first dog that we applied for and boom we got it i guess because my husband had the experience with a, another northern breed and so we were able to, we had a FaceTime with her and then we met the foster family and boom, we got the dog. So we're so excited to have a new addition of our family. Jade, come here. This is one of her toys that came with her from the, I, I guess, adoption agency, not even the foster family. So it was really old. So this might've been, uh, which I think it doesn't look like Pokeroo. So I think it is um, from Mexico probably. Jade, come here. Let's see if she'll come back. She does listen to her name, but she's not uh, like fully always listening. So like I said, she's just starting to come around, but she does listen, but just not all the time. Jade, come here. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Jade, come here. Jade. Come here. <laughs> so we have windows all around, so she loves sitting here and looking outside. So. Anyways, you'll probably see her in some of my other videos next time if we're going on adventures. Uh, I did take her kayaking twice. She sat in the kayak with me, which was like surprising. I really wanted to have her fit in the kayak, but I wasn't sure if she was going to fit. So it was a little bit tight because it's me and her and I'm not like a little person. <laughs> you know. I'm, so the two of us, but we did fit. Jade, come here. Jade, Jade, come here. She just doesn't want to listen. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video, meeting our new family member, Jade, and I'm sure you'll see her in other videos. Let me know in the comments below if you have adopted a dog also. Jade, come here. Such a good girl, but she doesn't listen. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time, live your life with kindness for all living beings. Take care. Bye. Such a good girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Such a good girl. Sit down. Sit.